getting ready for my first flight of like three flights and it is so dark you could just see me early morning flight chronicles it's early as crap 712 So I finally made it to the hotel. I'm like sweating. It's hot. I'm going to like... Okay, so the plan is I'm going to freshen up and I'm going to get out of here because I haven't eaten anything except for like airline snacks all morning. So I'm going to freshen up. After I do all that, I can definitely show you guys my hotel room because I just checked in. So we'll do all that in just a moment. I'm so hot, so give me a moment. <laughs> So now that I've had a few moments to get myself together, I can quickly show you guys this room. It's not really all that, it's very simple. I'm only spending one night here, and then we're gonna leave because I am starving. I have not eaten anything except for airline snacks. So I need some food. But basically, when you first come in the room, you know, I'm by the door, and whoop, you first come in, you can see towards the room, and then boom, you have the bathroom. I just used it, so you know, it's a couple things. Then you go into here, and it's nothing special, just the lovely, oops, the lovely shower, the toilet's over there, you know, basic bathroom things. But I do like that this hotel has a full length mirror in the closet, which I wouldn't have stumbled upon if I wasn't like cleaning up beforehand, wiping handles and stuff. But then you come in here, you have the bed, you no know, nightstand, nightstand, bed, lovely couch and footrest, which I really like. It's pretty dark. So yeah, lovely little area. Then you know, got the chair, the desk, don't mind my things on the chair, and the TV with the lovely remote control. And then the mini fridge is tucked away in here. Nothing in it, but I am gonna get something from the little food and drink bar area up front. So I'll be able to take advantage of that. And the last little thing that this room has, it's not really like, it's not a patio. I'm on the first floor, so it's not like it's really going anywhere. And it only sees out to the parking lot, but this opens. Oh my goodness. Goes through the struggle for a little while. Duh, Jasmine. This opens. <laughs> and like, you could just get some fresh air in. It's a screen right here. The screen opens too, so. It's a little access to outside if you really want it to go. But I'll probably be keeping this closed because it's actually hot. It's so hot in Miami right now. Like I said, it's nothing too crazy, nothing too special. Um, just a simple little room for one night. Um, and the reason why I was able to find that mirror when I was exploring is because, oh, I already threw the package out, but they give you little wipes when you come to the room. Usually when I go to a hotel, I bring my own to wipe down common surfaces, but they actually give you a pack with like five wipes in it. And they were a decent size, so I was able to wipe down all the surfaces I needed to wipe down with just those five and even wipe down the handles of my suitcases after getting off the flight. So it was perfect. And yeah, so while I was wiping everything down, I went in the closet, wiped the closet door handles and saw the full length mirror and it was just terrific. So, but other than that, nothing too special going on. Everything was pretty chill. Um, but like I said, I'm starving. So we're gonna go grab some food. You just come along with me. <laughs> I'm not sure how well you all can see me because I can't see because there's so much sun out. But I made my way over to Miami Beach and I'm gonna go onto the beach. Hi. Hi. Have to wear it? Okay. Hi. 
I'm not gonna lie, having a mask on at the beach on a hot day is like the exact opposite of what you want to do. But I'm not gonna argue with the beach police. <laughs> but I wanted to come out to the beach and I also wanted to eat over here. So that's what I'm doing. Checking the two things I wanted to do today off of my list since I had the extra time. I'm gonna have to put my hair up before it puffs up, but I just wanted to get put my feet in the water. Nothing too drastic. The water looks so pretty. There's so many seagulls right there. Birds, get out the way. Little baby seagulls. Oh. My little flip flops are coming off. The water is so warm. Oh my gosh, and it's so clear. I just want to swim. <laughs> Dang, I just want to go swimming now. This water feels so amazing. It's not even cold. I'm not sure you can I just found what I think is a piece of coral in the water. I only picked it up just to put it on video, but I just think it looks so cool. Gosh, it's just so freaking cool. I just love being by the ocean so much. Okay, it's gonna be super hard to see, but there's like a little school of fish right there they're just swimming by one of them has like a darker fin and the other ones are just swimming along with them oh my gosh i really hope you can see this on camera because it's like impossible to see so you guys there are literally so many fish that are just swimming by that you can't even see they just look like they just blend so well so like their camouflage is just completely on point everyone's just like swimming and they don't even realize, like I've seen like a total of maybe like 10 fish. And I know most people would like freak out if they like notice the fish in the water with them, but I'm pretty sure that most people can't even see the fish. But all right, I think I'm done with my beach um, montage. I'm just super excited because I haven't been to the beach in like forever. So don't mind me, but just one like one last look at this view though. It's such a nice day. It's just so pretty. guys i'm back in my hotel after bacon bitch i went ahead and left um i'm sorry i actually could not record inside of bacon bitch but the music was so loud you wouldn't even have been, a been able to hear me speak like i could barely hear my waitress and she was right next to me so i instead just did like recordings of like the food that i ordered my little cute to, to go bag and 
just the things like that um just to give you guys the vibes of what it's like i truly did love it in there they're so funny um they really do when you walk in they just call you the b-word and it's just hilarious um it's just a great vibe overall the food was pretty good um but more so i would just go back there for the vibes and like to get drinks with my girls type of thing so if you're going there that's the perfect vibe to go for and yeah overall it was just pretty chill it was very busy when i went so i had a bit of a wait but other than that it was perfectly fine the waitresses were so so nice and yeah i had a good time overall but i'm finally back at the hotel i'm not doing anything else today because the forecast did say it's supposed to rain so i'm gonna just be staying in here it is and that's fine with me because i'm so tired i've been up since 5 a.m um doing all my running around getting to the airport on time doing things like that so i am just gonna take a nice hot shower going to completely just cool down relax hop in the bed i'll probably end up taking a nap i'm so tired so um that'll be all for today and we'll pick back up tomorrow on what i'm going to be doing and then i'll be hopping on another flight and i'll be leaving miami so it's all it's all a very quick trip but bring you guys along so you can see this journey i'm going to to my new destination so i'll see you guys tomorrow so good morning i'm trying to find i don't know what's better lighting everything kind of just looks a bit crazy um but good morning guys today is my final day in miami so that means i'm handling some business it's pretty early in the morning it is nine and i'm about to leave i'm about to go do some stuff to get my visa and things and then stop by the bank so today's not really gonna be a fun day to like vlog so if anything interesting happens i'll definitely pick up the camera to record but other than that i know that getting my visa and something not gonna let me record that stuff so i will just talk to you guys about it probably after um it's just gonna be like a quick little lift ride to the place to get my visa and then after getting my visa head over to the bank um i'll probably stop and grab some food um other than that, it's just going to be coming back to the hotel, packing up, and getting ready to go on my flight. So, yeah, that's really it. I'm about to head out now. I don't want to take too long and eat up time. So, I'm about to get out of here right now. So, I'm just stopping to record this really quick because I've literally finished everything I said I was going to do. I picked up my visa, and I also went to the bank, and I even stopped by the store so I can get some more water and lunch. Oh my gosh, my mask. So, I can get water and lunch and so now i'm like it's only 11 it just turned 11 and i'm super duper early with what i needed to do today so i just found out in this city in coral gables in florida they have a free trolley service and i've seen them driving by and they're super cute so i'm thinking i want to hop on one for like really quick and then afterwards i'll go back to the hotel since i'm like still pretty early anyways so i think i'm gonna do that <laughs> <laughs> that actually scared me okay so i hopped off the trolley somewhere not too far from the water it's kind of near brickle and i've been there before um so i'm gonna see if i can like walk over just see the water from probably a distance get some views type of shots so we've made it to steel mini park and i'm just gonna walk through here basically to get to the waterfront it's on the other side and that's where i'll show you guys the views this little park is cute though so it turns out the other side of this park is like some kind of hotel or like residency so we actually cannot walk through there to go to the water on the other side this side just really doesn't let you get to the water it really is like a bunch of 
buildings along the coast, which is why I went to the Miami Beach way yesterday. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna go back. All right, so I'm officially back in my hotel. I just took the lift all the way back to the hotel, so I'm here now. My food's already microwaved, I'm about to eat. Um, relax for a little bit and then get my bag closed back up and then head straight to the airport, so. It's been nice, Miami. Bye. <laughs> A lot of paperwork and things because of COVID, so it was too much to record. But we're about to leave Miami, go straight to Paris, France, and then from there, will be one flight left. So we're almost there. So I've made it to Paris, France airport. I'm just chilling in the airport. I have a little bit of a layover. I've already gone through customs and everything and everything was fine. So now I'm just waiting for my next flight from Paris to Madrid. So I'm a bit tired at this point. For me, it's just turned 6 a.m. and over here it's 12. So it's crazy different. I'm just so sleepy and ready to be done traveling, but one step at a time. Touch down here in Madrid. I know I'm looking crazy, but the sun is like beaming in my face. But now I'm gonna head to the train station and I will take a train from Madrid to Seville. And from there, I'll be done traveling. I'm just gonna go to the apartment. So I'm super tired and a little bit confused because the airport was a little bit confusing, but we made it out. I couldn't record as soon as I got off the plane because I had to get my bags and everything. So while I had a moment of waiting time in between, I figured I'd hop on and record. So yeah. <laughs> you guys I've made it in I'm exhausted I've already eaten and what I'm about to do is hop in the shower and get ready for bed I literally I calculated it I literally was traveling for 23 hours so that is 23 hours counting from the time that I left my hotel in Miami and arrived to my apartment in Seville I'm so tired I'm thinking slow also, I'm going to be suffering from a bit of jet lag because I'm all screwed up with the time zones. So, I'm going to head to bed. I'm going to close up this video right here. Thanks for traveling with me on my journey to Seville, Spain. And I look forward to making more videos. So, see you.